Who was Mahatma Gandhi really, an icon of peace, or a man shrouded in controversy? Welcome to our channel, if you are new in this channel please subscribe the channel for more informative videos. Let's start the video. Known as the father of the nation in India, Gandhi's legacy is one of non-violent resistance and unwavering leadership in the struggle for independence. He celebrated globally for his philosophy of peace, yet like every prominent figure, his life wasn't without shades of controversy. His views on caste, race, women and modern medicine, among other things, have sparked debates that continue to this day. But like every influential figure, Gandhi's life and actions also invite criticism and controversy. Let's delve into Gandhi's views on caste, a deeply entrenched system in India that assigns social status based on birth. Mahatma Gandhi, revered as the father of the nation, held certain beliefs about the caste system that were, and still are, a subject of much debate. He believed in the Varna system, an ancient Hindu social structure that classifies people into different castes based on their occupations. Gandhi saw some of these divisions as necessary, arguing they were a way to organize society and ensure the fulfillment of various roles and responsibilities. However, this perspective drew criticism from many quarters. Critics argued that Gandhi's approach was often paternalistic, reflecting a top-down perspective rather than a genuine effort to uplift those at the bottom of the social ladder. They believed that he did not do enough to challenge the deeply entrenched caste system, which has perpetuated discrimination and social inequality for centuries. His views on caste were seen by some as not progressive enough, particularly in light of the social reforms needed to dismantle such a discriminatory system. Despite his advocacy for the removal of untouchability, a practice associated with the lowest castes, he still maintained that the caste system itself had merit. As we look back on Gandhi's legacy, it's clear that his views on caste were complex and multifaceted. But one thing is certain, Gandhi's stance on the caste system still sparks debates among scholars. Gandhi's time in South Africa reveals a controversial side of his views on race. The early 20th century saw a young Gandhi in South Africa, fighting against the discrimination faced by Indians under British colonial rule. Yet it was during this period that some of his writings showcased views that have since drawn criticism. Delving into these early writings, we find instances where Gandhi used derogatory language against black South Africans. These remarks have been seen as a stark contrast to the principles he later championed. It's worth noting that Gandhi's time in South Africa was transformative, shaping his political strategies and philosophy of non-violent resistance. However, the racial slurs and derogatory language found in his early writings have led many to question the consistency of his principles. Critics argue that these views on race seem at odds with his later advocacy for equality and justice. They highlight a discrepancy between the man who stood for the rights of the Indian community in South Africa and the man who seemingly held prejudiced views against the black community. It's a complex issue, one that adds a layer of controversy to Gandhi's legacy. While he is revered for his philosophy of nonviolence and his leadership in India's struggle for independence, these early views on race complicate our understanding of his principles and values. These views seem inconsistent with his later principles of nonviolence and justice. Gandhi's views on women's rights were also the subject of controversy. Mahatma Gandhi, a figure often revered for his philosophy of nonviolence, held beliefs about women that were surprisingly traditional. He firmly believed that women's primary role was to be homemakers. In his perspective, the home was a sacred space and women were its natural custodians. Gandhi's traditionalist views extended to the political sphere too. He was of the opinion that women should not participate in politics, a stance that was in stark contrast to the growing demands for women's suffrage around the world at the time. Another aspect of Gandhi's life that stirred controversy was his experiments with celibacy. He believed in the virtue of self-restraint and viewed celibacy as a means to attain spiritual strength. However, this practice has led to questions about his understanding of women's issues and sexuality. Critics argue that Gandhi's views on women were paternalistic and reflected the deeply ingrained gender norms of his time. His belief in women's primary role as homemakers and his resistance to their political participation has been seen as a failure to challenge the patriarchal structures that have historically oppressed women. However, it's important to note that Gandhi also advocated for women's education and spoke against practices like child marriage and sati. Yet, his understanding of women's issues has raised concerns among critics. 
These complexities add another layer to the multifaceted persona of Mahatma Gandhi. Gandhi's approach to the case of Bhagat Singh, a revolutionary, was a point of contention. This is where we delve into one of the most controversial aspects of Gandhi's legacy. Bhagat Singh, a young firebrand, believed in the power of direct, even violent action to secure India's independence from British rule. His audacious acts and fiery spirit captured the imagination of the nation's youth. However, Singh's approach was in stark contrast to Gandhi's steadfast commitment to nonviolence. Gandhi was criticized for not doing enough to save Singh's life when he was sentenced to death by the British colonial authorities. Many felt that Gandhi, with his immense influence and stature, could have intervened more forcefully to prevent Singh's execution. Moreover, Gandhi's critics argued that he did not fully support Singh's cause. While Gandhi acknowledged the bravery and sacrifice of Singh and his comrades, he remained opposed to their violent methods. This stance was seen by some as a betrayal of the younger generation of freedom fighters who were willing to give everything, even their lives, for the cause of independence. This episode highlighted a generational divide and a philosophical clash. On one hand, the older, more conservative leaders like Gandhi who insisted on nonviolence and negotiation. On the other, the young revolutionaries like Singh who believed in direct action and were impatient for change. This led to tensions between Gandhi and the younger generation of freedom fighters. It's a chapter of history that continues to spark debate, reminding us that even the most revered figures are not without their complexities and controversies. Critics argue that Gandhi's handling of the issue of religious tension and partition during India's independence struggle was ineffective. The partition of India and Pakistan is one of the most significant events in modern history, and Gandhi's role in it is often scrutinized. Gandhi was always a staunch advocate for unity. He believed that Hindus and Muslims could coexist peacefully in one nation. He spent countless hours engaging in dialogue, fasting, and even putting his own life at risk in an attempt to quell the rising tide of religious tension. However, despite these efforts, the dream of a united India eventually crumbled. Critics argue that Gandhi's commitment to unity was idealistic and out of touch with the ground realities. They believe that he underestimated the depth of the religious divide and the intensity of the communal violence that was brewing. These critics argue that this oversight allowed the partition to take a violent turn, resulting in the loss of countless lives. However, it is important to remember that Gandhi was operating in a highly volatile and complex political environment. His philosophy of nonviolence and unity was a beacon of hope in a time of great unrest and uncertainty. But the partition of India and Pakistan was a monumental task, fraught with challenges that were perhaps beyond anyone's control. The partition remains one of the most tragic events in Indian history. Yet it is through the lens of history that we can learn from these events and hopefully strive for a future where such divisions and violence are a thing of the past. Gandhi's personal lifestyle and opposition to modern medicine have also been subjects of controversy. Known for his simple, ascetic lifestyle, Gandhi's personal choices often reflected his philosophy of self-reliance and spiritual purity. However, these choices were not without their critics. Gandhi's lifestyle was one of extreme simplicity and austerity. He wore only a simple dhoti, spun his own clothes, and followed a strict vegetarian diet. His steadfast adherence to his principles of simplicity and self-reliance was admirable to many. However, some critics argue that such an austere lifestyle was not practical or even possible for the masses, especially for the impoverished and marginalized communities in India. They claim that Gandhi's imposition of his personal values on others often overlooked the harsh realities and struggles of the poor. Gandhi's skepticism of Western medicine and vaccines was another aspect of his life that drew criticism. His belief in natural remedies and traditional Indian medicine was rooted in his philosophy of self-reliance and his distrust of foreign influence. He often preferred Ayurvedic treatments and natural remedies to Western medicine even during serious illnesses. Yet this skepticism towards modern medicine was not universally appreciated. Critics argue that his views could be seen as dismissive of the scientific advancements in the field of medicine and potentially harmful in their dismissal of proven treatments. His opposition to vaccines, a critical tool in combating infectious diseases, has been particularly criticized, especially considering the crucial role vaccines play in public health today. Nonetheless, it's important to remember that Gandhi's views were a product of his time and personal beliefs. His commitment to his principles, even in the face of criticism, is a testament to his conviction and determination. 
But these aspects of his life also add to the complexities and controversies that surround his legacy. The life and actions of Mahatma Gandhi are a testament to the complexities of human nature. He was a man of deep conviction, unwavering in his principles, yet his life and views were not without controversy. These aspects of Gandhi's life further complicate his legacy. Gandhi's legacy is, without doubt, a complex one. His principles of nonviolence and justice spearheaded India's fight for freedom. Yet his views on caste, race, gender, and his handling of Bhagat Singh's case and partition invite criticism. His personal lifestyle and opposition to modern medicine further add to this complexity. History is nuanced, and like all influential figures, Gandhi was a man of his time. While celebrated for his contributions to India's independence, Gandhi's life and actions also invite criticism and controversy, reminding us that no figure, however influential, is without flaws.